Hi everyone. Well, it's a cold and miserable day outside today. It's all grey skies and a bit of rain. And I feel like doing something a little bit cheerful, something sunny and fun. So today I'm going to show you how to make bacon and egg picnic pie on The One Pot Chef. Many of you remember that I did a bacon and egg pie recipe a couple of years ago. This is quite a different one. First of all, this is a family size pie. I'm doing it in a pie dish. I'm also doing it with pastry. Last time I did it with um, dried bread, which was a totally different recipe. So I hope you'll enjoy this. First of all, we're using some puff pastry, which is just the normal stuff you get from the supermarket freezer. And we're just going to put one piece down on the bottom of the pie plate. Now, as you can see, this one doesn't quite cover the pie plate, but because there's little gaps there, when we put the lid on, we'll just put it on a diagonal there and it will cover up all the little spaces. So just make sure that fills the pie plate nice and evenly there. By the way, I know I've got a dirty mark on my hand. It is clean. I just went to a nightclub last night and I can't get the mark off. Now, first things first, we're going to put a bit of grated cheese on the bottom here. Now, this isn't for flavour. This is actually a little trick I picked up a few years ago, is that if you put a bit of grated cheese on the bottom of a bacon and egg pie, you actually create a seal that stops anything that goes on top of it from soaking into the bottom of the pastry and making it all soggy, which is no good. So, there we go. And to save time, I've already fried one onion, which I'm just going to stick in, like that. Just make it really even. And I've also fried four rashes of bacon, which I've just chopped into little pieces. So we just evenly distribute it, fairly simply. See, this is easy, it's just assembly, it's good. Now we're just gonna crack six eggs on top, making sure that we don't break the yolks. So, we'll just like that. Ooh, I accidentally broke that one, but I'll try to be more gentle. <laughs> there we go, that's better. Looking good there, we'll just try and get the yolks relatively even apart from each other. Just try and keep that one away from the centre because we're going to put a hole in the top to let the pie breathe. Now we're just going to place the lid on. Making sure we cover those gaps. And we just press the edge around with your thumbs just to seal those two pieces of pastry together. That's the way. And we're just going to trim the excess pastry from the side. And just using a fork, we're just going to press around the edge to create a little pattern. This also helps to seal it. So just all the way around the edge. And just using a knife, just poke a little hole in the middle. This allows any excess air to escape out. And we're just going to brush the top of the pie with one beaten egg. This just helps to make it nice and golden. Make sure you get all those edges. And that's it. Basically, we're just going to stick this in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes, roughly, or until the pastry's gone nice and golden brown. Put it into a hot oven at about 220 degrees Celsius. And I'll show you what the end result is. Our pie has just come out of the oven. 
as you can see it's lovely and golden and crusty and absolutely delicious what we need to do is leave this on the side for about 15 20 minutes to cool as the inside is still cooking so the heat in the pie plate and everything will still continue to cook even though you've taken it out of the oven now as i said this is a bacon and egg picnic pie and the reason it's called picnic pie is because you designed to make this the night before and then you can cut it up and serve it cold the next day at a picnic with salad it's a really versatile pie as well because you don't have to use the ingredients that I've used. You can substitute things like the bacon and the onion for other ingredients. You could make it um, vegetables. You could put mushroom and spinach and all sorts of other things. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at youtube.com slash onepotchefshow and drop me a line at onepotchef at hotmail.com. Until next time, see you later.